But yeah, thanks for joining me again. Alright, let's walk through some more Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty. This is the Alchemy Suit video. We're going to make an Alchemy Suit. First of all, uh, I'm going to level up. We have Enchanting to 80. Let's get the all-important Enchanter rank 5 perk. And also, let's get... Um, that was Mr. Fumblefingers. Juggernaut rank 2. Get some extra juice into our heavy armor, and finally, uh, let's get some magic resistance in the alteration skill tree. Here we go: magic resistance rank one, magic resistance rank two. Right, twenty percent um, magic resistance. Okay, stack that on top of the fifteen percent we get from the agent of Mara. That's thirty-five percent, and um, get another twenty-five percent when we activate the lore stone. So that's up to sixty percent we can get now. Could make some potions later on, up to 15%. That will jack it up to 75%, which is pretty high. The max is 85%, so getting pretty close to the max right there. So we're all set with magic resistance. You can stack um, individual elemental resistance on top of that to make your resistance even stronger, for example. Uh, you could have magic resistance working alongside fire resist um, apparel and potions to make yourself even more resistant. Right? So it's back to Dushnik Yal to hook up with girl and do some more um, heavy armor training since we're eligible to purchase some more skill training. And she's not here so we'll have to wait, get her to drop in, get on her business gear in the meantime. All right, waiting it up here, boss. Here she is. She I drops in. Forge with my mother gone. Work? We mine our own Use it right. Shape our own you won't feel a thing. Heavy armor five times, please. I'm Borgug's forge wife. I shape all the steel for the stronghold. There we go, heavy armor up to 32. Now, let's go get our gold back. You wish to trade in orc steel? Take a look. So there's some of these enchanted dwarven bows we got. And that bottomed out her gold supply. You gotta be careful with the girl. Her the gold that she gets from uh, skill trading disappears rather quickly. I mean, really quickly. So just offloading some junk here. Until next time. Until next time. Now, I grabbed some silver ore and ingots, or silver ore rather, from my supply. So make a silver ingot. I have to make one necklace and two more rings, I believe. So make a necklace. Actually, I believe I need three rings. I made two batches of two rings. There we go. And I already have a couple necklaces back at uh, my quarters at the College of Winterhold. Quick loot some juniper berries. Activate the lover stone because there's going to be a whole bunch of skills that we're going to be working on. So there's no point in um, activating a particular guardian stone. Just activate the lover stone and be done with it. And here we are in solitude. Now we're going to try and buy some the alchemy enchanted blessing. gear. May the ground you walk quake as you spare some gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. It's best you leave. Give Noster Eagle Eye a, a gold coin to, an to give you like an you approximately 5% boost to prices. And now I'm going to run up to uh, the Shrine of Zenithar. Something I normally wouldn't do in the Quick and Dirty build, but since we're going to be buying some really expensive apparel, every little bit counts. So a 10%, you know, discount when you're buying $2,000 worth of stuff means you just save 200 gold. And, oops, I didn't edit, edit the best out that the load screen. Upon you. How may I help? In case you don't know, I take the trouble to edit out all the load screens, okay? 
because uh, as many of you know, the load screens in Skyrim can be really uh, <laughs> long, and they're longer when you're running fraps when you're recording. Okay, so just checking my better business uh, blessings, make sure they're all in effect three times, all in effect rather three times fortified barter and one times fortified persuasion. And Radiant Raymond is the best place to buy. Um, Why hello, here to buy. Alchemy to gear the price, you and smithing gear. Store. Be careful. Oh, hello, hello. I'm Gizli. Uh, oh, but you can just, just call me Erica, every... sister. Let's see if <laughs> the bitch brigade is uh, in full force here. Yeah, best place to buy alchemy gear and smithing gear, except when you've got the recording handicap going. And for those of you who don't know, those of you who are not familiar with the major slack, um, everything goes perfectly during practice runs. As soon as I start recording, everything goes completely awry. So uh, I had to actually really hunt around for some enchanted alchemy apparel. I had to make the tour. Couldn't find any here. And then I'm just going to like fast forward everything because uh, it we'll took quite a while. Later. It took I think maybe 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes real time. I want to subject to that. So boom, in fast motion we go. Over to check of the bits and pieces. Up to check at the Solitude Blacksmith. Down to White Run, checking at the War Maidens, striking out everywhere. No alchemy enchanted gear whatsoever. Up to uh, Velothors, struck out there. Over to Falkreath, checking at Laud. No, rather, sorry, Riverwood, sorry. And then Alvor. Now I'm at Falkreath, checking at Grapevine Goods. Struck out here. Over to Mark Karth, checking at Arnleafs, struck out there. Up to Gores of the Blacksmith, struck out there, and now it's back to Solitude. I make the tour. <laughs> Finally oh, back at Solitude. Oh, let me just drop Check in at uh, the Bits and Pete, or not the Bits and Pete, Radiant Raymond again. And I finally found it. There we go. Circlet of Alchemy. Kind of pricey, but um, I have to settle for it. And I was lucky enough to find two, like both of what I was looking for. Here we go. Ring of Eminent Smithing and the circulate of alchemy. I'm looking for both of them. At this point in the game though, what you really want is the alchemy uh, enchanted gear. The smithing can wait a little bit, but if you can find them both, grab them because, you know, as you can see, sometimes it can be a pain in the arse trying to find these uh, these items. So I bought them both, sell back some bows to get my gold, my gold back. Now I'm trying to remember if I have this enchantment or not. Because I'm hesitating, I decided to sell it anyways. So the leather brazers. And I sell her my poisons of paralysis because my alchemy suit is going to make much better poisons of paralysis. So those are kind of obsolete. And of course sell her all the skill books that I picked up. So I managed to make my gold back, even to the point of bonding about, bonding about her gold splay. So there we go. Got an alchemy okay. enchanted piece of gear and a smithing enchanted piece of gear on board. Up to the College of Winterhold to start enchanting. Alchemy first, then create some fortify enchanting potions using the alchemy uh, suit. Then um, use the fortify enchanting potions to create the smithing suit. Then use the smithing suit to um, improve our battle gear once we create the battle gear. And we'll get to that later on. Mirabelle does a fine. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Now, I want to buy some grand soul gems. Filled grand soul gems. Okay. Until next time. I need at least four to start. Ultimately, I need 14. Restoration is a pr so, you wish to master the arcane arts? Okay, so we got a couple there.
don't really have anything to sell her, but that's all right because um, we're not going anywhere. So these vendors will still have their gold after I create my alchemy suit. And after I create my alchemy suit, I can make much more powerful potions, which Until next time. means much more valuable. You'll see, I mean, just sell one, one or two potions and you make 1200 bucks, 1200 gold, just like that. There are few. So you wish to master the arcade? So it's no big as long as we don't leave the hollow countenance. Okay, it's got another one there. Mm -hmm. You know, they say knowledge, spells, and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Got three there. I'm gonna buy them all, even though I only need four for now. Just taking advantage of the opportunity. All right then. Okay, so I've got six. I only need four for the alchemy suit. Let's go make the alchemy suit. Now, I'm not using fortify enchanting potions because I cannot create strong enough fortify enchanting potions at this point that will have an impact. They're just They won't have any impact at all. So there's no point in making them and using them. So here we go. Enchanting a hat some gloves, a ring, and a necklace with a Fortify Alchemy enchantment. And they all come out at 23%. And I always use the chef's hat just as a joke, you know, because like he's cooking up potions, so it's kind of like a, a Skyrim tradition with me, those of you who had seen my master walkthrough. <laughs> Besides, I think it looks so ridiculous, I can't resist. And here I get fancy with the naming. Ooh, a mixer's amulet. Well, la di da, slack. And yeah, and also I'm naming them all with the mixer's prefix, okay? Reason being is when you go into your inventory, they all get nicely grouped together alphabetically. So when you want to slap on your alchemy gear, see, they're all grouped together. Boom, 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 boom. Something I've always wondered is, if you're playing on the console, can you rename your gear when you enchant it? And there you go, Lucky. You're barefoot, and you're in the kitchen. <laughs> All we have to do is get you pregnant. <laughs> okay, Slack. I'll catch butterflies, and I'll do these lovey-dovey chick quests, but there's no way you're getting me pregnant, okay? That's where I draw the line. All right, Lucky. All right. Calm down. Calm down. We ain't going to get you pregnant, okay? You better not. Yeah, and I know some of you guys are like, why the hell is Lucky Barefoot? I don't know, because I like it. I think it's so cool. I think it's really cool to have him running around in the snow, shooting fireballs. <laughs> in his bare feet. I think that's a riot. Honestly. I got, uh, during the making of the ebook, okay. By the way, I'm going to make a whole bunch of power potions here. I'm breaking from power potion list number two, which is in my ebook. Uh, I, I don't have these... Um, recipes um, memorized. Of course not. There's just too many. There's like 23 recipes in my power potion list number two. Uh, if you want more information about that, check out my ebook. I'm showing my ebook at the end of the video. So that's why I'm working from that list now to make uh, a bunch of valuable potions that I can sell back to the vendors to get my gold back from buying the Grand Soul Gems. Okay, that's what's, go that's what's going on now. What was I talking about before? Uh, Oh yeah, lucky going barefoot, that's it. Um, yeah, when I was like, when I first started developing this strategy and, um, you know, developing the whole quick and dirty dark elf build, um, I was in the beginning really, really into saving every last nickel and dime I could. So um, I got used to like not buying lucky <laughs> any kind of footwear at all, even though some of it only cost a buck. You could find some of it, you know, but I used to sell everything, no matter how cheap, you know, so... I go, Lucky, you don't need footwear, damn it, it's like, you know, we're on a budget here, so... And that's it, so that's how it all started, and then it became so accustomed to having Lucky running around barefoot that... I, I got used to it, I even liked it, you know? I, I don't I don't mind the sound of his, you know, his bare feet pitter-pattering around on the stone floor, I really don't mind it at all. So I just, I just got used to it, and I... You know, like I said, I thought it was so cool that he could be running around in the middle of a blizzard shooting fireballs, you know, at enemies in his bare feet. I just thought that was just a complete riot. 
So, yeah, that's the whole barefoot story, the barefoot lucky story. So cranking up the power potions here, like I said, working from a list, I don't have all these recipes memorized. Um, it's a special list of potions that I, or recipes, list of recipes that I concocted that will work with the ingredients that you're most likely to have on hand if you're following this walkthrough, okay? Basically the most valuable uh, ingredients or valuable potions that you can create with the ingredients you have on hand. And here's one that I don't have on the list, that's blue butterfly wing and blue mountain flower. I don't really recommend this because uh, you should really save your blue butterfly wings for fortify enchanting potions. But I've got a huge surplus of blue butterfly wings um, from uh, the little jaunt out to do the Book of Love quest. So I figure, um, you know, why not? That's a neat little power potion you can remember. Blue Hang butterfly, up. just remember blue. Combine the blues. Blue butterfly, wing, and blue mountain flower. Not the most valuable power potion, but um, it'll make you coin nonetheless. Here we go, and just selling off these potions to get uh, mm -hmm. my gold back from all the vendors that I bought Grand Soul Gems from, from rather, before I end I the video the and have to exit Take the them. game, at which point all the vendors' uh, gold supplies will reset to the default, which is 500 gold, and I don't want that to happen, so just quickly selling out these potions, and then that'll be the end of the video. Mm-hmm. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? And Dreevis has got a huge supply of gold that I bought a lot off him. I think I bought the most grand soul gems off him. So grab all that gold mm -hmm. back. Until next time. Until next time. And for all I don't think I bought Spells anything off her. No, I didn't. She's got the default amount. Them. Can't really sell her anything because she can't afford it. See if there's anything at all I want to buy from her. Nothing. Until so next that's time. It. Until next time. And until next time to you, all my hardcore slackers. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And here's some more information about my ebook. Hey guys, you can get this entire walkthrough in ebook format with way more details than I could possibly give in the video commentary. This includes a complete step by step game plan to produce a destruction tank mage made for legendary difficulty gameplay. Also, exclusive bonus content. The Alchemist Business Model Power Start, how to become filthy rich in Skyrim using my special list of power potion recipes. More bonus content, so you like to cheat, do you? The Eager Eddie Exploit build will show you how to use Skyrim exploits to create a ridiculously overpowered conjuration mage in under 3 hours. Fully tested in the latest Skyrim patch. All this in an easy to read, easy to navigate 160 page ebook, Skyrim Legendary Made Easy, the quick and dirty dark elf build. Buy it now for only $9.99. All purchases are processed by the 100% secure world-renowned PayPal payment processor.